crazy if it's a fire mask. Cars falling everywhere. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello, Nikki. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Suki. Can I get for the divine mask, please? When you're in a different background, y'all. <laughs> different background, not at my desk. I'm on my bed because your girl's just been tired. I've been tired. I've been doing personals. So I've been on my bed. Fuck it. You know? Fuck it. Energy for the divine masculine, please. Fuck it. Get out of here. Sign with love. <clears throat> So we're gonna hop into it, y'all. Hello, everybody. It's your girl with T Sis. I forgot what to say. Hold on. Hello, everybody. It's your girl with T Sis. For personal bookings, you can email me with T Sis10 at gmail.com. We can figure out your personal situations from there. All right, shuffle my cards, bless my cards, and bless my reading. So, yeah, I put six oracle cards out here. After I read y'all the healing message, I'm going to tell you what those six oracle cards are. I'm using the um, Golden Wheel Tarot deck, and I'm using my Gypsies with my Roses for clarification, and I'm using the healing message deck for my oracle card. All right, so the healing message that we got is pay attention to the signs. Also, this is a divine masculine reading, sorry, and take these messages how they generate. We got pay attention to the signs. So with this card and the oracle cards that came out, Divine Master, you need to pay attention to this female. <laughs> pay attention to this female, this karmic female in your life because she playing a big factor is what they're telling me in this flame shit. Because I feel like that she's the, uh, what's that, what's that, what's that word, what's that word? Antagonist. Thank you. <laughs> it's either antagonist, antagonist or some other word. I read a lot of books, so yeah. Or is it antagonist or protagonist? Something like that. But yeah, she's the motherfucking... <laughs> I'm not even going to say that. That's wild. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> My spirit guys are tripping. Alright, so. Divine Masculine, pay attention to the science being number 10. It says... Hold on. It says, signs are all around you. Open your mind and pay attention to your env environment. See, Divine Masculine? Pay attention to your environment. Pay attention to what the fuck is going on around you because it's a lot of buffoonery is what they're telling me. It says, your angels know that you have been feeling lost about the direction you need to take in your life and the decisions you need to make. They have, heard, they have heard your frustrations and your pleas for help. They ask you to slow down, stop focusing on the problem, and allow a solution to come into your reality. Your spiritual helpers have been organizing synchronicity events and support for you. If you keep thinking in the same stubborn way, relax and look at life in a more creative way. Come from a form of a song, movie, book, a, a song, movie, book, nature, animals, people, thoughts, dreams, visions, and etc. At times, your body also gives you signs. Your body may be telling you to rest, change your diet, or to work on challenging emotions. Be sure that you take these signals seriously. We already been talking about divine masculine having health problems. So I feel like these signs are starting to affect his body. When he dismisses these things, they're telling me eye twitching for some of them. Their eyes hurt. <laughs> That's what they're telling me. Like a headache, like a super migraine and it's been like that for days Ooh, why you take some pills or something okay okay now the six oracle cards that we got out here is this bitch lurking now it could be divine masculine lurking it could be this bitch lurking take it how it resonates or this karmic feminine i'm gonna stop calling her a bitch <laughs> this karmic feminine she could be lurking i feel like she is somewhat stalking divine masculine divine feminine that could also be you maybe this divine masculine is lurking on your page he's seen something that he didn't want to see this that and the third next we got the um fruit on tree card so this divine masculine like i said divine feminine this divine masculine he could have run into some type of abundance and that's the reason he wanted to communicate with you so badly 
because of some type of abundance that he has ran into. Maybe that's what this karmic partner looking so shocked and lurking and shit because, you know, he ran into some some abundance, some money, some fruit in the street. Maybe a new job is what they're telling me. Next, we got the Ann Hand card. So this Divine Masculine obviously rubbing something in somebody's face. That's what they're telling me. They're rubbing something in somebody's face. Somebody could be rubbing something in their face. I feel like that has nothing to do with Divine Feminine. I feel like that's the energy where someone is, um... Like, aha, bitch, I left you, aha. <laughs> or this could be the party partner. Take care, resonates. Then we got the Facebook card. So this is how I know that someone put on the show for Facebook. Someone could either see something on Facebook. It's what they're telling me. Like I said, someone could be stalking someone. It could also be any other social media platforms. But it says production right here. So this is some, some make-believe, some a show, something that someone wants someone else to see type energy. Like someone is like uh, playing tit for tat on Facebook or social media. Take that how it resonates. Next, we got the over... Stuffing card, the hoarder card, not getting rid of shit, wanting everything to come with you. You've got mix, mix, max shit up in here, shit that don't even match with each other. Like, just hoarding shit. You could be hoarding some feelings, is what they're telling me, Divine Masculine, or you could be keeping some type of um, financial recovery, is what they're telling me, some financial recovery away from someone. Like, you're keeping it to yourself. You could either be trying to hide it, is what they're telling me, or Divine Masculine, you could be... Having this financial recovery to move away from somewhere and you're in a hurry. This is my masculine could be moving out of a home situation. Take that, Harris Nates. Next, we got $37 out here. Now, they told me with this $37 divine mask, and this is temptation. This is a bitch offering you some low-qualified poom-poom, you know, that scary cat. <laughs> this could be someone offering you money. Take that high resonates or just a low qualified relationship is temptation here. Something that, you know, this brings in your discernment is what they're telling me. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So let's hop into the tarot part of the reading. Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify this uh, seeing shit on Facebook, stalking, finding out something card. Let's see what somebody finds out. Let's see. <clears throat> clarify this, find out something is what they're telling me. What has been found out? We got two cards coming out. We got the King of Cups with the Nine of Wheels here. Hmm. So this masculine could be in a happy energy. I'm telling y'all. Like this masculine, he could be very loving, very... He could be maturing, is what they're telling me, emotionally. Like, this person, they're, they're in a happy energy. And I don't think that a karmic feminine likes this. Like, oh, she's like, what? <laughs> he's happy. Like, who could he be with? I just, I don't feel like he's with anybody. <clears throat> I don't feel like he's with anybody. This divine master, like I said, could have ran into some money. Could have ran into some type of fulfillment. Could get a, could have got a new boo. Take that how it resonates. This Divine Masculine, I feel that he is um, resting. That's what they're telling me. This is healing. It's right here. <laughs> Clarify this finding out something. What has been found out, please? What secrets have been revealed? Yeah, we got stuff coming out. Could be dealing with a Leo. You could be a Leo. Divine Masculine could be a Leo. Like, there's a divine master that's like, hmm, I'm just waiting. <laughs> and she's like, waiting for what? He's just like, I'm just waiting, you know? <laughs> Look, in this strip of cars, she's just waiting. Like, he's very tamed right now, very calm. He's giving me calm energy. <laughs> very, a very calm masculine here. He's just chilling, you know? Just chilling. <laughs> he needs to pay attention to the signs, though. This karmic feminine could be stalking the fuck out of him. Put the rose down, please. Yeah, with the stars. Daydreaming and shit. Look. This, I'm telling you, La La Land. This is La La Land. <laughs> this masculine, he's not even here right now. He is all up in the 70. He all up in the 70, 60. Yes, look. The child coming out. Free spirit. This divine masculine spirit could be Roman. I feel like he's very calm. Very calm <laughs> with the clover at the bottom of the deck. Oh, thank you, Jane Doe. I'm sorry I didn't see it at first. Thank you. I really appreciate it. She always comes through, y'all. I love her. <laughs> Let me see the comments.
Oh, congratulations, Victoria. <laughs> I hope it works out. All right, so let's keep it moving. It's too much. It's too much. Let's see. Clarify what secrets have been revealed. Yeah, the King of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Even though there's Divine Masculine, I don't think that they have made strict decisions yet. That's what they're telling me. They haven't put down some laws yet when it comes to this coming partner. They haven't. King of Swords in reverse. Let's see. Yeah. Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like that this Divine Masculine, look at the flowers. Look at the flowers. This is fruitful. <laughs> this divine masculine could have run this into some type of abundance. They feel very good right now. That's what they're saying. A very good spirit right now. I feel like that these divine masculines, they still have to uh, put up some boundaries with this karmic partner is what they're telling me. Because he still is in the energy with this person. <laughs> they're, they're still in a good energy with this person. I won't necessarily say a good energy. Their inner energy is what they're telling me. Like, I feel like they're waiting for you, Divine Feminine, in some way, but they're, like, passing by time with this karmic individual. Or any karmic individual. Take it how it resonates. They're telling me, like, uh, this person, <laughs> they, are, they are okay imagining you. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> like, this person is like, well, my Divine Feminine is going to come back. I feel it. I'm just going to wait here. <laughs> I'm going to wait here and daydream about her. This, that, and the third, you know, and this karmic is like, what are you doing? Like, she's like, he's just like, I'm waiting. What you mean? I'm waiting. We got the Knight of the Cups coming out, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Not offering anything. That's why I said this divine master, he hasn't laid down those strict laws. He hasn't. He's not offering anything or not moving forward anywhere emotionally right now. I feel like he's in contact with himself. That's what they're telling me. He's in contact with himself. Okay, I like this energy. Yeah, we got love coming out. Well, then we got the um, alchemy, I mean the sadness card in reverse. I don't know how to pronounce that word. But love coming out with the sadness card in reverse. I, like I said, this Divine Masculine, he's definitely waiting on some type of love opportunity. Like, they're no longer dwelling over it, is what they're telling me. Like, oh, well, she'll come back. <laughs> I, it gives me, like, a cocky energy. It gives me a cocky energy. But I feel like this is just La La Land shit. Like, this Divine Masculine, he's like, La La Loopsie. Like, he's all tangled up in his imagination. What's that song? And it's just my imagination <laughs> running away with me. I don't know how that song goes, but yeah. I hear it in my head, but I don't think I can sing it out loud. I'm not a good singer. All right, so let's continue. Let's see what, uh, oh, wait, tell me to clarify some more. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what secrets have been revealed, please? What secrets have been revealed, please? Oh, look, the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is the Divine Masculine. They could be moving forward physically. Like I said, someone was leaving somebody's house or packing some bags or or leaving something, taking how it resonates. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. That this Divine Masculine no, no longer wants to give to this individual. Whoever that this whoever is finding it, I think it's this Karmic. Honestly, I think it's Karmisha. I think that she is finding out like, oh, well... He, he's, like, <laughs> not even hearing me. Like, you know, this Divine Master, he all wrapped up in a fucking fairy tale. <clears throat> a fucking fairy tale. With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Wands here, I feel like that she's now realizing Carmisha or, or Carmen, take care of resonates, is realizing that, uh, you know, this is at a dead end. Someone is moving forward. No one is, no one is offering new beginnings no more. Yeah, journey. Divine Master is moving forward. Okay, I like this energy. I feel like <laughs> this is, uh, you know, that song is, what is that song called? I don't know what I heard this song off of. 
I've been getting a lot of music, you guys. I can't remember. I'm not even going to dwell on it. It's going to make me mad. I've been getting a lot of music this um, past few days. Yeah, then you got the two of wands out here. This is a sacrifice. <laughs> Divine masculine is sacrificing something. Yes, for a past relationship. Man, Divine masculine pinnacles at the bottom of the deck. You got the six of cups out here with the two of wands. This, this, this two of wands always seems like a sacrifice to me because it got the two lambs right there going head to toe. Maybe this divine masculine has to challenge this um, karmic partner to get out of this relationship, to go to a past relationship with this six of wands in reverse. A uh, past relationship that could have fell out, which is very possible is what they're telling me, with the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone is trying to uh, come back, divine feminine. They're trying to come back. <laughs> they want this lifestyle with you. And this karmic partner, they're realizing it. Clarify this secret card. The two of pentacles in the upright. But this divine masculine, they could still be juggling, but they know which one they hold to a greater value. That's why that that's why this pinnacle is at the top and that was at the bottom. You take you pick your role, divine feminine. Someone is at the greater value here. So this divine masculine knows that someone's on the grid of the value. He doesn't mind destroying this pinnacle down here, but he like, nah, you can't touch this one. <laughs> like, you know, someone here is at a grid of value. They're being headed, you're being held at a pedestal, divine feminine. We got the spare out here with old woman. So this karmic partner, she could be an older woman or a younger woman. Take it how it resonates. I feel like that she, yeah, look, so. Yeah, that's my female whole part. I feel like um, that Carnesia, she's like, damn, for real? <laughs> she's like, damn, for real? Like, are you serious right now? With the full card and the despair card. <clears throat> I feel like, the, you know, she's realizing, like, damn, we have been in this situation for a minute. I feel like that I'm going to kill myself. Which, killing yourself isn't a good thing, but we know how over-emotional she is. She's going to feel like her whole life just got fucking ruined. But yeah, I feel like that she is in some type of pain right now. Whatever whatever she found out, I think it's how much this person loves you, Divine Feminine. I'm not going to stunt. Because <laughs> it's not telling me nothing else but how much this person wants to be with you. Or someone else that's a feminine. Take it how it resonates. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It was strong Leo out here too. Mm hmm Could be a Leo as well. But yeah, Divine Feminine. That's what it is. Thank you, Charity, for the five dollars. I really appreciate it. Oh, congratulations, Queen of Swords. I hope you have fun on your day, girl. All right, so let's clarify this abundance card. Let's see what type of abundance that Divine Masculine has ran into recently. Let's see why he's so happy. <laughs> Because I feel like he's very happy, but he needs to be pay attention to the signs. He needs to be aware that this happiness is just something that's ongoing. He has to make moves. Like, he's been making moves, but make more moves. Don't just stay still. Keep Continue to move forward, you know? Because somebody here is going to try to hold him back, obviously. Clarify this fruitful card. What, ha what has grown on Divine Masculine's tree re recently? What type of abundance has grown on Divine Masculine's tree? We got the Page of Wheels in reverse. Hmm, let's see. Taurus will go Capricorn. With the tower. Ooh. Divine masculine. This could have been a court case, is what they're telling me. A court case or a refund case. Like you had a long awaiting refund, is what they're telling me. Yeah. Seven of Wands in reverse. <laughs> They're telling me with this page of wills in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse. This is something that someone took from you. 
something that you had to wait to get back. Could have been from this karmic feminine. Maybe you got some awaiting money from her. Yeah, Divine Masculine coming out. Something you invested to that you got back, Divine Masculine. And the way you got it back, it didn't make people happy. Yeah, with the dog. It didn't make people happy the way you got it back. Like I said, it could have been a court case. Yeah, look what's at the bottom of the deck. The karmic at the bottom of the deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This divine master could have, have recently had to go to court and had got a settlement back from something that he invested into. Yes, the two of cups coming out. I'm telling you, it could have been with this karmic feminine. Two of cups coming out with the ten of swords. <laughs> yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Let's get some gypsies. Maybe that's why she's so shy. Like, oh, my God, he won the case. Yes. Merchant with faithfulness. And Divine Master, whatever this is, you had high hopes for it. Like, you stayed through it all. Yeah, the dog. You was faithful. Whatever this is, you was faithful to it. Whatever type of commitment, money involvement it was, you proceeded to put money in it. And this motherfucker was tricking the fuck out of you. Look at this friend card. I don't like this, how she look at this card. She look like she run a game. So this person, whoever it was, they, they did run some type of game on you, Divine Masculine. Yeah, it's like uh, this was a long awaited payment. Like someone owed you some money, you owe somebody else some money. They had resonates. Whatever it was, you were sticking through it though. Like you were there. You were active. <laughs> Very active in it. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles probably working on it. It would have to be some type of business. Mm hmm. That's what they're telling me business. A get, a get rich quick scheme is what they're telling me. Yeah, the three of cups in reverse. This, whatever this is, it made you and this person fall out. Money, between you and this crummy partner, money made y'all fall out. <laughs> yeah, that's what made y'all fall out, money. Mm-hmm. After this, whatever, whatever, whatever happened with some money, some money involvement, some payback, some fee payback, so just some um anything materialistic, whatever way. When 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 you got this shit in your hand, you did it. The situation, the buy masculine, or you're going to take it how it resonates. Well, when you get the money in your hand, or when you get whatever you get in your fucking hand, you are gonna leave this motherfucker. <laughs> this this gonna be the downfall to it all. Like you're 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 waiting. <laughs> That's what they're telling me. You could be waiting, or you already have did this. Let's see. Clarify this abundance. Thank you. Yeah. The chariot. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker gonna go on with their life is what they're telling me. Cancerian energy. Whatever money you get or whatever with that burden down, you're gonna start working on whatever this is. Mm-hmm. Because you were Eunice and Merchant coming out. The faithfulness, I mean, the Merchant, that's a hard-working businessman right there. I mean, like, he could sell drugs. He could sell T-shirts. This is a motherfucker that be on the corner yelling, hey, 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 socks for $3, type shit like that. Like, this is a motherfucker that's committed. You were committed to this Divine Masculine. <laughs> you were very committed to this, and it just did not work out. What else card we got? Yeah, the High Priestess in Reverse. And you have no sense of direction on where you're going to go after you leave whatever commitment this is or a partnership this is. You don't know, but you out there, motherfucker. It's one motherfucker on your mind, Divine Masculine. <laughs> Divine Feminine, you are on this person's mind. No lies told. With this high priestess in reverse in this Queen of Cups, Divine Feminine, you probably don't even know that this motherfucker about to come, G. You don't know. Like, I'm telling you, this is, you had a, you in a whole relationship unbeknownst to you, Divine Feminine. Unbeknownst to you, you're already in a whole relationship. <laughs> yes, with Psy. Like, there's only one thing that this Divine Master knows. I'm going to move forward, and I'm going to go to a, a woman. Mary, I'm going to, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, Divine Masculine. My car is just flipped all over. I hate when it does that. You could be trying to date a situation with this Queen of Cups as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you're obviously um, heading your way to a uh, Queen of Cups. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, look, hope coming out. Yes. Divine Masculine is gone. Gone. 
And I'm on, wipe me down, and I'm on, wipe me down. Shoulders, pants, and shoes. <laughs> that's, that's the song I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> These divine masculines happy as the fuck. That's why they like ah ha, bitch? <laughs> now I know they like. You know what? Ah ha, I'm leaving. Ah ha, ah ha, I got paid. Ah ha, I got your money. <laughs> now I can see what they're doing this to this coming partner. They're like, yeah, I won. I won. <laughs> Cause this divine master, like I said, they were tiptoeing around this karmic in the last few readings. Like they were like, you know what? I'm just gonna tiptoe around this motherfucker until I leave. Like this divine master, he knew luck was on his side. Mm-hmm. So they took they take me back to another reading I did. I don't know which reading it, it exactly was, but I said that divine master was gonna be he had to have some luck on his side to get divine feminine. I feel like that the luck came, y'all. Whatever settlement or payment payment or threshold that he got, that was the luck divine feminine. That was what was gonna happen so he could get back to you. Because whatever he rubbing in his karmic face. <laughs> He's rubbing in his karmic face. All right, so let's see. Why is this divine master rubbing this in his karmic space, please? We got the five of pentacles in reverse with the seven of cups in reverse. Because this divine master not stupid no more. He like, motherfucker. I to say that. Like, no, when they was down, they was down together. But this karmic, she sold this divine master in an illusion. Like, this is fairy tales. That's what they're telling me. Pay attention to the signs, divine master. This is fairy tales. Be aware. <laughs> partner, she probably sold this divine master in some dreams. Like, this current partner, she didn't have shit. Like, <laughs> that because she didn't have nothing. But she made it seem like that she did. She made it seem like that she had fruit on her tree when she did it. They were down with the seven of cups. This one. Carmisha or Carmen showed this person an illusion. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. The Six of Swords. Now I have to go. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yes, look. The Page of Swords coming out. This Divine Masculine, he's realizing a slight truth. A slight truth is what they're telling me. Like, motherfucker, you took from me. You lied to me. You manipulated me. <laughs> yes, look. The higher friend in reverse. You mixed these self. Yeah. The Nine of Cups in reverse. I was emotionally un. Like, this the my masculine is realizing a lot. Like, motherfucker, you were my downfall. <laughs> you were my downfall. Let's see. Yes, with the child. Together. Or this guy just been a child. This, yeah, with fortune. They could have got tax money as well with this child of fortune. You know how it'd be when you got 27 kids and you get taxes. Like, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe this divine masculine, he's like the only thing that was um, fortunate to me was my baby. If they have a child together, that he's like, that's the only thing that was actually fortunate in this relationship was my child, was my daughter, was my son. <laughs> you know, that's the only thing that was actually fortunate in here. So let's see. Yeah, look, the five of wands coming out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. When this person try to leave, it's gonna be a big fight. Mm hmm. I mean, like this, this how the relationship always was, always an argument. Yeah, the eight of wands coming out. A lot of communication, a lot of back and forth energy. This is this unclear thinking. Yes, with the fool. So the divine master, remember that we talked about. You know, I get I get money now. I got like six thousand, seven thousand dollars to my name. I don't need you no more. Don't do that, divine masculine. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do it like that. I told you. When you make this decision to leave this person, do it in a 
um pay attention to the signs go by the rule book read the rules read the guidelines you know make sure you know what's all to come if you break up with them in the alternative way and unalternative way is what they're telling me you know go by the script don't do not make up don't do improv divine masculine do not do improv go by the script you know go by the script do not just sit here and just leave this person we know that <laughs> i broke the deck apart you know we know that you feel good right now but don't you do that <laughs> don't do that we got the Knight of Swords in reverse here. Make sure that you make right decisions, Divine Masculine. I know that you know that you want to go on this new leap of faith. I feel like that the Divine Masculine he's gonna go on this new leap of faith regardless. But it's the it's the way how he does it. Pay attention to the signs, you know, pay attention to what you need to do. Don't just be out here breaking people's hearts and you're not even sure if you're gonna get your divine feminine you getting your divine feminine back. You know? That just might be your downfall, my guy. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What is Divine Masculine rubbing? We got the Five of Cups in reverse. This Divine Masculine, he was depressed in this relationship. Very depressed. This yeah. The Seven of Pentacles in the upright with the Empress. This Divine Masculine, I feel like that he was taking care of this person. But she's the Empress in reverse. You know? She's the Empress in reverse. Yeah, with the Knight of Wheels here. This Divine Masculine relationship, but it came to the extent of giving. Like this current partner, she was probably selling dreams and just giving that poo-poo up, you know? And this Divine Masculine, he was actually putting in foundation or stability in, and she wasn't. So I feel like that that's what this Divine Masculine is like, you know what, I can't, I, I, I can't stay here no more, <laughs> you know? I have a lot of, um... Dig the pinnacles that I got. I gotta go dig up. I got some fruit out there that I've laid somewhere else, aka with divine feminine, could be with some other females as well. There is some fruit that divine masculine has up there that he gotta go dig up. So, with this empress, it's like he's now realized, like, you know what, I put in more to it. Did that, <laughs> I was chasing you, you know, what did y'all always say? If not coming to us, that means they got to be chasing somebody. They got to. All right, so let's see. So let's clarify this Facebook production card. Let's see what type of show they're putting on for the book. I mean, they're putting on some type of show. They could be playing a tip for tat on Facebook or you on Facebook, please. What's going on on social media? We got the King of Pentacles right here. So this Divine Masculine, they could be looking clean on Facebook. Okay. This Divine Masculine definitely showing off here. With the Page of Cups right now, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the Ten of Wands. No, uh, breakup. <laughs> yeah, Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. They had good with a breakup. This, this person, she's all, um, they're telling me overexcited, thrilled. She's thrilled. <laughs> That's a weird word. Thrilled, okay? She's thrilled on Facebook or social media right now. And this Divine Masculine, he's coming off as, um, being well put. Okay, so this Divine Master, he could be uploading pictures. Um, he could be chilling with friends. They're telling me new outfits, new look. He just looked different. Like, he looks happy, y'all. That's what they're telling me. Like, this Divine Master, he looks happy. I don't know if it's the nice weather that's coming out. You know, spring on this way. Take it how it resonates. He could be out there offering love to new people. This Divine Master, he could have some new love interest in mind. Could be hand handing everybody like a little cup of tea. Like, you know, here's a cup for you. Here's a cup for you. You know, you drink that. Here's one for you. <laughs> you know? With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You know, because he just got out of a commitment, out of some type of marriage, disagreement, some type of settlement. You know, take it how it resonates. What's on Facebook right now, please? Yeah. 
The Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, all talk, no action card. This Divine Master, he's still, you know, everything ain't peaches and lollipops. Yeah, with the fool. I knew it. This Divine Master, everything ain't peaches and lollipops over here. Everything ain't sweet. Everything ain't sugar. You know, we still got those um, things that we have deep down the side. This Divine Master, he still could feel some regrets about leaving this person. He still could feel some type of feelings for this individual. He could, he could still feel like that he played this individual. Uh, and we're talking about this karmic partner right now. Because, you know, he went on a new beginning. Or he's going to go on a new beginning. This Divine Master, the one I pick it up on, leaving. <laughs> Whoever I'm picking up on right now, they're leaving a karmic partner. And he could still feel like, you know what, I've, I've, I wasn't my best to that person. That person wasn't their best to me. That person lied to me. I lied to them. He could feel like that, you know, grief, grief isn't a straight line. This is grief right now. It isn't, it isn't a straight line. You know? Yeah. Divine Master coming out. Look, the gentleman. Yeah. It is in a straight line. Grief is like, it takes, yeah, ooh. The lady coming out. So this is about divine feminine. Okay. <laughs> We're going to take it how it resonates, though. We're going to take it how it resonates. This could also be about divine feminine. This divine feminine, I mean, this divine masculine, you know, he could feel some type of way about leaving this karmic partner to come to you. Divine masculine and divine feminine out here. He could feel that type of way. He could feel like, damn, I'm really leaving the person I've been with for however, however years for the person I've always wanted. You know? Take it how it resonates. This divine master, he could be in a state of knowing, like, you know what? It's a do or die decision. Someone has to get hurt. <laughs> Someone has to get hurt here. He just has to make what choice. Okay. It's like, I have a problem with this reason. Reason being is because I feel like there are steps being took, took forward. All right, so let's see. What's going on? Facebook, please. Yeah, the page of wills coming out. So this divine masculine, they're coming to offer divine feminine. I'm not taking that. This divine masculine, they're coming to offer divine feminine. I don't know if you're like feeling this. I'm sorry, y'all. My cord is falling. I don't know if you're like feeling this. You could be having this in dreams. Yeah, we got the Queen of Wands coming out again. This coming partner, they're watching, y'all. I feel like this Queen of Wands is this current partner. It could also be you, Divine Feminine, if you're an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Take that how it resonates. But yeah, look, the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's both going to taunt these people, especially if he leaves this situation in a negative way. That's what I'm hearing. Divine Masculine, be careful of leaving this situation in a, in a negative way because it's going to taunt the both of you. It's not just going to taunt one person. It's going to taunt the both of you. Divine Feminine is going to be wrapped up in that shit. So, motherfucker, before you come over here offering shit with this page of wheels, be sure that you over this bitch. Because, like I said, it's okay to be with that bitch and miss us, but it's not okay to be with us, be with us and miss that bitch. We're not going to go for that. So, yeah. see what's going on on facebook so y'all remember how i said that this current partner is going to watch divine masculine go into a relationship with divine feminine that's exactly what's happening here yeah the four um wands in reverse with the will of fortune in reverse so this divine masculine this current partner has to be aware of not closing this fucking cycle especially divine masculine yes the moon at the bottom of the deck be aware of not closing this fucking cycle especially if you're trying to involve divine feminine no be aware of that will of fortune in reverse be aware of not closing that cycle closing the situation be aware of trying to get divine feminine back for some tip for tat shit on on the book like come on now come on now 
We're not going for that. What the four of wands in reverse? Motherfucker, y'all broke up. So, like I said, grief is not in no straight line. Be aware, Divine Master, you're trying to marry Divine Feminine, you're still stuck on that other bitch. Like, be, you do, purge that shit out, <laughs> you know? Purge that shit out. We don't have time for that. Purge it all out. Let's see. Give me a rose, please. Yeah, with the bear. Be aware this bitch trying to threaten you, too, with the bear. You a guppy, Divine Master. Remember that. Or you could be the bear, you know? So for some Divine Master, it's bitches, you know? For some of them. <clears throat> but be aware of being the motherfucking guppy. <laughs> be aware of this bitch being like you know what divine master I'll come up there and I'll maul that bitch I'll maul divine feminine ass be aware of that because you not putting an uh, end to a situation cause we don't got time for that give me two more cards please what's going on, on Facebook two more cards please yeah that's in the cups look at this Here's the Pisces Scorpio. Like, I feel like Divine Feminine, regarding the situation with you, yes, the Nine of Swords is coming out. Regarding the situation with you, Divine Feminine, this motherfucker, they're going to be emotionally happy with you. But if they lead this person in a negative way or don't close up their cycle, Divine Feminine, this person, they're still going to be stuck thinking about that person. And we don't need that. The fuck? We do not need that. You need to, like I said, grief is not no straight line. It's not. So this divine master needs to take proper steps. Because it's one thing, like I said, to miss somebody, to miss me while you're with someone else. That's that's different. <laughs> that's different. Yes, the house in reverse. The, the the foundation that you want that you want to be built, divine master, will not be built if you're missing this other person. It just won't. It won't happen. Because divine feminine is too intuitive. She's gonna know. <laughs> Read some of the comments. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Next, we got the hoarder out here. We got not getting rid of shit, having mismatched shit, having shit that just don't put two or two together, not putting two and two together. We got this motherfucker trying to bring everything with him. Divine Master, like I said, you could also be packing your fucking bags. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Oh my god, apple juice is so good. Okay. Clarify this water card, please. Yeah, look, the eight of cups. I knew it was something walking away. I knew it. Motherfucker was walking away. I knew it. <clears throat> so the divine masculine, like I said, you're going to walk away from this person, I feel like. I don't feel like there's no doubt about that. You just have to be aware of how you walk away from motherfucker. I don't know what it is, but I just give a motherfucker check. Says the divine masculine. I just get that motherfucker check, bitch, and I got my phone go. Like, you can't just. I just get my check. I gotta go. I gotta leave you. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. Like, you can't let the truth spill out like that. <laughs> you gotta be like, you know what, Samantha, can you please sit down real quick? <laughs> That's how you go about it. Let Take that bitch on the walk or something, you know? Take that bitch out in public or something, Divine Masculine. 
take that bitch out in public, divine masculine. Don't do that shit in the house by yourself. Don't make sure there ain't no weapons in the house. Hide all the knives and everything, divine masculine. Like, come on now. You might want to tie that bitch up as well. Because that bitch going to get crazy. That's what they're telling me. Like, don't just, don't, that's why you're rushing in a hurry because, you know, that bitch going to get crazy. Or that bitch going to get buck wild. <laughs> like, don't do it like that, divine masculine. She don't get nuts. They the cops out here, you know? Take that bitch on the public, break up with that bitch at dinner. Some shit like that. You know, take that bitch to the movies, leave that bitch in the dark. I don't know. I don't know Divine Masculine. Break up with her ass in the middle of a fucking movie. I know. <laughs> I don't know. Break up with her doing a breakup scene. Shit, I don't know Divine Masculine. Just don't do it at home. Okay, let's see. Clear for this walking away. Clear for that packing your shit car. Gonna go, please. Yeah, look, the hangman. This is making moves here. You like? I've meditated on it long enough. Yes, the lovers in reverse. I've meditated. Found out that me and you are not compatible. Says the one. like divine master. You can't do it like that. You can't do it like that, divine master. Yeah, look, the sun coming out. Leo energy coming out here. Divine Masculine is on new news like new new. Because I rock the new new shit. <laughs> you know, you're on new new shit, Divine Masculine. <laughs> yeah, look, the star in reverse. This ain't what you want, Divine Masculine. You're not being fulfilled. You're not healing here. You know, you need to go towards you know, pay attention to the signs. Do not let this person wrap you up. Because right after this, right after this, get my shit and go card, we got the $37 card coming out here. We got her trying to test you with that dry ass poom poom. Like in middle of, in the middle of packing your best and shit, she starts taking off her clothes, the vine mask one. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yes, look. Three of pentacles in reverse, the vine mask one. Do not be tempted by this shit. Look. Ace of Cups. Do not be tempted by this. Don't be tempted by this. Do not. Let's see. Yeah, the Two of Swords coming out. You're going to go back to trying to make a fucking decision. Which which sword do I pull out the ground? Like, no, Divine Master. Don't, don't do it. Don't do that. <laughs> that bitch going to start taking off her clothes, Divine Master. You got to be prepared for that. You gotta be prepared for that. <laughs> you gotta be prepared for the to start trying to slap your knob, divine master. Right there, right there. You gotta be prepared for it. We know how you a sex addict. We know. <laughs> Look at her neck, divine masculine. This bitch guzzle pop. Like, <laughs> like divine masculine. Be aware of this. Yes, you're going to start thinking that you're in love with this female again, divine masculine. This bitch going to swallow you whole. Yes, look at her neck. She's going to swallow you whole. You're going to start thinking like, oh my God, Carmisha, she has my heart. <laughs> like, no, divine masculine. <laughs> you're going to be trying to make a decision again. Be aware of this person trying to give you that thing. That thing in the middle of an argument, Divine Masculine. Like, this person, they know. Be aware of this motherfucker crying, too. <laughs> the fuck? Be aware of this motherfucker crying. Next, we got the $37 card out here. This, that $37 poom poom. This $37 ass relationship. And $37 worth of opportunities. Like, come on now. <laughs> This is that. This is that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> read the comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. What's this thirty-seven dollars is? Well, look, the three of wands coming out. Yes. Divine Masculine, be, a, be aware of you trying to go back into this relationship. Like, oh my God, Carmisha gave me that beard pussy. Like, <laughs> she gave me that beard twang. Like, no, Divine Masculine, this bitch is... Be aware. Be aware of marrying Carmisha because she dropped that thing on you. Look at this, the beard with the wedding. Come on now, it just don't look right. It just don't look right, Divine Masculine. You got to be aware of this. What else we get? Yes, the Ace of Cups, the Divine Masculine. Tuh. When I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Tuh. The fuck? <laughs> I'm upset. I'm upset. 20000 on my head, that's disrespect. The fuck? Can't go 50-50 with no hoe, Divine Masculine? You can't go 50-50 with no hoe, Divine Masculine. That's what Drake said. That's what Drake said. Come on now. Look, Divine Master, what else Drake say? What else Drake say? They can, they keep trying to get me from my soul. Thank you, thankful for the woman that I know. <laughs> Can't go 50-50 with no hoe. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I'm supposed to pay her bills and get her what she want. <laughs> still got, what he say? Still got like eight years of doing what I want. Like, come on, Divine Masculine. Be aware of this. What Divine, what Drake say? I'm upset. 20,000 on my head, that's disrespect. Like, this motherfucker trying to out, he, she out to get you, Divine Masculine. This is a trap. <laughs> Listen to me. This is a trap. Divine Masculine, you can't go 50-50 with no hoe. That's what Drake said. It, I'm upset. Drake was upset. The fuck? You should be upset, Divine Masculine, that this bitch would even think. Like, Divine Masculine, this makes me question you. Look, pay attention to the signs. This makes me question you. Are you okay in the head? Do you know how? Do you? Do you know better? Let's see. 37 notes card. Yes, look, the Ace of Swords, Divine Masculine. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. You got the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Cups out here. Is this the person you want to commit? That's rubbing. You was just rubbing some type of other situation in this person's face. <laughs> oh, fuck. Like Divine Mass and be aware this person trying to slob you down, bro. They trying to slob you down. Look, around, around this Ace of Swords is a snake. This is a snake. You see that snake? This snake all on your knob. They all on your sword, Divine Masculine. They all on your sword. Instead of this bitch being wrapped around your fingers, she wrapped around your penis. Like, come on now. <clears throat> yes, the moon coming out. Divine Masculine, go talk to God about it. Go talk to God about it. That Bruno Mars, look, the Ace of Wands. You got all aces out here. You got the moon, the three wands. Like, Divine Masculine, be honest with yourself. Be aware of starting a new foundation with this person. Go talk to God about it. <laughs> Go talk to God about it. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This all Divine Masculines, if you ask me. This all they ass out here. Every sign. Mm -hmm. You got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Ace of Wands. The, all these Divine Masters are being faced with a test right now. Either you're going to get slowed down by this motherfucker that produces nothing, or you're going to get your shit together and go marry the one that you want to be with. Period. That's, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> What's this? Yes, the Ten of Wands in reverse. In Divine Masculine, you know that you want to put down the burden, bro. Clarify this Ace of Cups with this Ace of Swords. Yeah. Joyfulness. 
be aware of thinking that this shit fun, that this third party shit fun, that this this living in la la land shit fun. Be aware of that. Be aware of thinking that that shit that shit cute. That shit not cute. Cause in the inside, this how you feel. Sorrow, motherfucker. You feel sorrowful on the inside. Be aware of not paying attention to yourself. Like I said, you were happy in the beginning. You were happy in the beginning. Yeah, look. <laughs> you were happy in the beginning, Divine Masculine. You were over here like, you know what? I'm just going to wait for a Divine Feminine. I'm going to wait for this court case to be over. I'm going to wait to get my settlement. And as soon as you start packing your bags and shit, Divine Masculine, this bitch got your heart again because she slapped your ass down with her long ass neck. Like, be aware of that. Be aware of trying to live in sorrow for the rest of your life because you got slapped down by a bitch that, that yells Aflac. Aflac! Be aware of a bitch that's irritating as fuck that you, that you could be trapped for the rest of your life with. You know? That bitch irritating as fuck. I hate that fucking bird. <laughs> like, this is someone that irritates you at, the, at your lowest. Yes, look, the sweetheart came out in reverse. Be aware of giving all this up. I mean, giving Divine Feminine up for all this. For shit, for a bitch that you treat like a friend, Divine Master. <laughs> Be aware of giving all this up for a bitch that already crossed you once and is willing to cross you twice. Be aware of that. Because, like I said, I don't like this friend card. That bitch sly. She is sneaky little broad. You know, she show up with gifts and shit and then expect something choosing this bitch that you treat like a friend instead of divine feminine with the sweetheart card coming out of here um give, give be aware of giving up something that you always wanted for a bitch that you always had <laughs> like come on now be aware of that <clears throat> that's gonna be your biggest downfall pay attention to the signs this bitch is a trap she's a snake you got some snake in your grass buddy you got a snake in your grass all right so, we're going to answer some questions, y'all. We're not going to do a lot. We're not going to do a lot because I'm on my bed. And, yeah, my legs are uncomfortable. <laughs> but we're going to do some questions because I told y'all that every Tuesday and Thursday. Well, it's Monday, but I didn't do it on Thursday. So, we're going to do it today. <clears throat> I answered some questions, just a little bit. Not a lot. I answered, like, at least 20 so the ones that were here for the Divine Masculine reading, I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe, especially if you're new to the channel. Check out my other videos. I have lots of interesting videos, like Divine Masculine's mother. We really liked it, so yeah. For the ones that are here to answer questions, my loves, you can start asking while I shuffle my cards. <sighs> so yes, you guys, I think that was a very interesting reading. I think that it... uh. Open some of our insight to what Divine Masculine is really going through. Like, we've been so involved in this current situation, I think. Like I say, it plays a big factor. But, yeah. Current situation definitely plays a big factor in this role here. I feel like that the, the Divine Masculine is there. Uh, they're in transition right now. And they have, they are making life choices. And they, be, they better be aware that they are making life choices. Like, life passes you by once you settle for something, and that's at the age, or I'm at the age, most of my feminists, though, you're you're at the age, it's, it's 7 in, it's 2020. <laughs> this is it, you know, this is it, so make your decision now. Okay. Let's see. We got Monica's Google account. Is my divine masculine giving up on me? 
Okay. So let's answer Monica's question. Is divine is Monica's divine masculine giving up on her way too many questions? I mean answers, sorry. <laughs> Is Monica's divine masculine giving up on her, please? It says no. It says and to the O. So no, Monica. You're just going to be um, more patience is needed in this situation. So there's your answer. No, this person is not giving up on you. <laughs> Let's get some tarot behind it, though. I want to just make sure. Is Monica's divine masculine giving up on her? <laughs> the first card that we got is justice coming out. Libra energy. So I'm going to take that as a no. Like a strong no. We got justice being the first card that's coming out. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Is Monica's Divine Masculine giving up on her, please? Give me one more card. No, this person, they're, they're coming to collect. It's what they're telling me. You got the seven of pentacles out here with the four of wands in reverse. Now, you and this person, y'all might not be in the best terms because that four, that four of wands in reverse is giving me harmony with the seven of cups in reverse. Like I said, divine masters, they have been in this energy where they they have been in uh, La La Land. And I feel like that with this masculine, your masculine is in La La Land right now regarding you. So, no, I don't feel like that they're giving up on you. I feel like that they're backing away as if you need space, Monica. So, yeah. Let's see. We got Takia. What does Spirit want me to do? Spirit. What does Spirit want Takia to do? Thank you. We got the Four of Wands with the Knight of Cups. Whatever you do, do not go over there offering with offering to this person. You and this person in a different... Um, D is what they're telling me, like 5D, 7D. Everything could be all good between the two of you. Right now, there could be a um, a stuck situation emotionally in a 3D, though. Yeah, the two of swords. This person, they're still trying to make a decision. Is what they're telling me with the high front and reverse with the three of cups. The three of cups being an active party here is what they're telling me. Let's see. It says, yup. So whatever you <laughs> So if your if your next answer was um yeah look more time is necessary. If your next answer was like um is there more more space needed or your question I'm sorry. Your question is like if there's most more space needed. Yes. Whatever situation yeah the the situation, Takia, it has to be more time necessary. You know, that's what the card said. More time is necessary within the situation because I feel like a third party is still active. So, yeah, that has been your answer. So, let's see who's next. We got is Al leaving me for the karmic. Is Alvin Alvin leaving Minnesota for the karmic, please? That's how you say it. It's Alvin Minnesota Minnesota Minnesota. Is it an I? Oh, Minnesai Minnesi. Hmm. Word. Word name. <laughs> Let's see. So is Minnesi's Minnesai Minnesi's the blind master leaving her for a coming partner? Please, we got answer right here. It says, unfortunately not. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that this person is going to leave. What is Menace's Divine Masculine doing? We got the Two of Cups coming out with the Nine of Swords. And we got the High Priestess coming out. So whatever you think that this person... Okay, they're telling me to use a different a, a different tool. And they're tell talking about your intuition. So your intuition is thinking that this person, they have some deep regrets about being with you. Or this person, they have deep, deep regrets about leaving someone else. That is honestly not... It's, this person is antagonizing them is what they're telling me with the Two of Cups. This person, they're, whoever that you think they're leaving you for, that person is actually antagonizing them about you. So, yeah, that is your answer. I feel like that you kind of knew this, though, with the High Priestess. I feel like that you kind of knew that there was some type of communication going on between these two or somewhat. But this person, they're being intake telling me clear and cut. I feel like that this person, they are in some type of uh, communicative 
alignment with this crummy partner, but I feel like that they aren't thinking about leaving you for them. I don't. Next we got Icy. Will Divine Master make a decision to leave the karmic soon? If you have sent me a question to Cash App or PayPal, make sure that you put your name down and the question so I know who sent it. Look at my thing. Alright, so <clears throat> let's see. Next we got Will my divine masculine make a decision to leave the karmic partner soon? Let's see, which is icy. Will Icy's Divine Masculine make a decision to leave the Kwame partner soon, please? Way too many. I just need one card. Will Divine Mask? I mean, will Icy's Divine Masculine make a decision? Okay, thank you. It's in, <laughs> they are also in a stuck in energy, Icy. Person. Let's see. Can we leave the Kwame partner anytime soon? <clears throat> we got the ace of swords and the king of cups in reverse so this person is their attitude towards this coming partners selling their soul to this person take that how it resonates which i don't feel like that's really the case here but they said it you know <laughs> they said it i feel like that they're trying to fix the situation with this person though i'm oh, sorry my mouth. They're trying to fix the situation with their person. Is what they're telling me. Surprised I didn't have on my bracelet. But yeah, they're trying to fix the situation with this person. Yeah, old woman. A mom could be putting them up to the test of this. Or a, or an older woman is what they're telling me. With scholar, this is something that this person is used to. That's probably why. That's probably why this person, they have a stuck energy with this. But yeah, that's the answer to your question. It says maybe, but probably not. So, yeah, they're still in that energy of thinking and deciding. So, yes, I see. Next, we got Spirit Doc. Is my Divine Master leaving his karmic now? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Kind of hot. Open my window. Okay. Is Spirit Dox Divine Masculine leaving their... Is Spirit Dox Divine Masculine? We got this one. It says, no, 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 no. Even ask. Okay. <laughs> this is a lot. These cards are low-key rude. <laughs> so, they're basically saying, like, at this moment, no. I feel like there is a lot of healing required with you, Spirit Doc. They're not saying, knowing, like, oh, bitch, you'll never get them back. It's not in that way. They're saying, no, it's as if, and um, you're not ready for this yet. That's what they're tell telling me. Like, this person, they're not ready for this Divine Masculine yet, as well as this Divine Masculine isn't ready for them. You know? So, yeah, let's see. Let's get some tarot behind that. Give me a second. Okay. Give me some spirit on why you said. I mean, give me some info. On, give me some info on why you said no. That's it. we got should you continue with the new person should can should kia to continue with her new love interest please continue it says maybe but probably not <laughs> okay next question is is he my divine masculine it's the kiss for show so with this i feel like this person is so let's get some uh tarot behind that let's see what that means let's clarify that did not it says should should to, Takiya, continue to see the new love interest, please. 
It says four of swords in reverse with the eight of pentacles in reverse. Now, this person, they probably aren't active enough either. Like this person, there is a type of situation that you want to kill. You want love. You don't want playfulness. Like a lot of people, these people nowadays, they're all about playing games and having fun. Like this person, they're going to play games. That's what they're telling me. They, they're going to play games. Now this person, they could be a divine masculine, but I don't feel like it's your divine masculine. That was pretty, um, like that came to me in this person, they're masculine, did as well. So, yeah, that's the answer to your question. Let's see. It's $3 to ask a question. All right, so next we got chair. Is my divine masculine a lead? Is Charity's Divine Masculine a Leo? <laughs> it says, ask something else. <laughs> I'm going to give you this as your answer. because They're telling me to go with it. So whatever. <laughs> Spirit is like, no. Let's ask a different question. <laughs> We're going to pull another card just to see. Oh, look, it came out again. It says, ask something else again. Okay, so they're, they're staying stuck on that, Charity. They're like, no, ask something else, ask a different question. Veronica Bate, what was your question? Next we got Dee Dee Scott. Will my divine partner come home to me, the divine feminine? Will Dee Dee's divine masculine leader call me partner, please? Will Dee Dee's divine masculine leader call me partner, please? We got try again out here. We're not going to take that, though. It says that, so this person, they will leave a coming partner. Let's see if he, is he gonna come back home though. The line mask is gonna come back home. <laughs> it says certainly not, certainly not. Let's see, I feel like there are some mixed emotions here. And we got, why would you eat some tarot behind it? So did is the line mask gonna leave a coming partner and come back home to her please? Well, did is the line mask gonna leave a coming partner? We got the Seven of Cups here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like regarding this person, they're still in love. The Ten of Swords in reverse. With the Hangman in the upright. With the Ten of Wands in reverse. With the Ace of Cups. This person, they're still caught up in uh, La La Land. Y'all, this, this is the main thing for these masculines. These masculines, they're either caught up, caught up in a karmic illusion or a divine feminine illusion. Take it how it resonates. But yes, this divine masculine, your divine masculine energy towards them. I feel like that they're still working on this karmic situation with this individual. There has not been his karmic partner. I feel like that she kept away. May not be relationship form. Like this person, they could be moving forward. But with this ten of swords, I mean, it lets me know that it could be revived any minute at any second. So yeah, this, your masculine the emotions about the situation and the comic partner so yes that has been the answer to your question let's see Yeah, charity will me and my divine masculine work it out let's see we're gonna get another one charity they playing you girl well charity and her divine masculine work it out oh okay it says indeed okay we're gonna take this it said answer answers. <laughs> they like um charity right <laughs> i don't know what direction he's going in charity that's what i hear the spirit guy saying <laughs> let's see um, well, Charity and her Divine Mask can work it out, please. We got the Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel like there has to be proper communication and proper forward movement. You know what I mean, Charity? It's just not here. Put the Ten of Wands in reverse. Uh, 
Next, we got the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this person, they're not willing to the situation with you yet. Is what they're telling me. Like they're not, they're not like, oh well, I don't want to work on it no more. It's not that. This person, you're like on the back burner. This energy. Yeah, look, look. Constancy. This is waiting on somebody. It's like this person. They know that you're like gonna wait on them or something. It gives me cocky energy. Next, we got the um, house in reverse. It's an unclear foundation, broken foundation. Never was a foundation. Is what they're telling me. That's why spirit is like, well, we don't know because this person, they're not even actually looking at you. That's what they're telling me. Like this person, they're not looking at you. This person, they have one blind eye. It's not actually a good eye. <laughs> you know, this person, they get the eye of the dead. That's what they're telling me. Like, this person, they see negativity before they can see something positive. So, yes, Jerry, that has been the answer to your question. Next. Are you back? Are you back? Are you back? Are you back? All right, guys, we're not asking questions because I have 20% and I don't want the person that asks questions to go without. So no more questions because we only have 20% right now. So let's see. Um, J.E. question was, who is the Aquarian with the initials L.S. to me? Who is the Aquarian with the initials L.S. to J.E., please? Who is the Aquarian with the initials L.S. to J.E., please? We got the Four of Swords. Someone that probably had a crush on you for a long-ass time. Yeah, with the sun in reverse, but never got the opportunity. Never got the opportunity. Okay, okay, J.E. Who is this person? Next, we got the three of the three of Pentacles. Yeah, this this is a person that had a qu a crush on you, <laughs> like LL Cool J and Lil Kim. Is that LL Cool J or that was Cisco? I think that was Cisco with crush on you. Oh wait, no, wrong cards. Wrong cards. Hold on. With crush on you. Yeah, that's how this person feels about you. Yeah, what a surprise. This is a a surprise to you, a shock to you. Mm-hmm. J E, look, you got a crush on you. <laughs> Somebody got a crush on you. That's what they're telling me. Yes, with young woman. You could be younger than this person or older. Take it how it resonates. Mm-hmm, with gifts. They could want to take you on a date. Or they could they could want to take you on a date. Or just cater to you is what I'm hearing. Like, this person, they want a chance with you. Okay, J.E., girl. So, whoever that is, they want a chance. It could be some type of soulmate. I don't feel no twin flame energy. I feel soulmate energy there. So, yeah, some type of soulmate there. Next, we got the key. Matthews, does my divine master miss our children in me? Does the key's divine masculine miss their children in her, please? We got an answer out here. We got surely not. Ooh. We're gonna get another one. I don't like that one. Some of these answers be too harsh. <laughs> Does Takiya's Divine Masculine miss their children? Oh, it says no, dear. Oh, my God. It says more time is necessary with the client. Okay, so I don't... Let's see. Does this Divine... Does Takiya's Divine Masculine miss their children? It says affirmative. Okay. Okay, because I was going to say, damn, the kids. <laughs> I was going to say, damn, the kids. Like, oh, wow. All right, so this divine masculine, I don't think that they miss you. If I'm going to be honest, I don't think that this person, I think that this person, they will always love you because you're the mother or their child is what they're telling me. But if this person has moved on, it might not be the best relationship, but that person, they like it there. That's what they're telling me. They like it there. So with this, if they miss the kids, that's they're like, yeah, they miss the kids, but I don't necessarily think that this person they're necessarily missing you. I feel like it says more time is necessary for the situation. So take that how it resonates. It says more time is necessary. So this person, they just probably need more time, is what they're telling me. But yeah, Taki, I feel like that uh, this person, they definitely miss their kids. But when it comes to the relationship with you, I just feel like it's something that's on pause right now, something that's at decline. Or maybe it was just something that just wasn't supposed to work. Take it how it resonates.
Okay, Veronica, I'm gonna see. All right, so after Angela, Veronica, I'm gonna ask, answer yours, okay? So for Angela W, we got, is my soon to be ex husband my divine masculine? Is Angela soon to be ex husband her divine masculine, please? We got two coming out. We got no doubt and answer unknown. So no doubt meaning like, yeah, this could be your divine masculine. Like, yeah, that's no doubt about it. I could see it. What well, answer unknown. So this person, um, regarding you in the spirit world, they're like, yeah, this could have been your divine masculine, but we could give you another one type energy. Like, we're going to give you another one type energy. Like, okay, you've already surpassed that energy, surpassed, surpassed that test. So that's how, let's try another one, says spirit. All right, so next question is, is he still in a karmic relationship? Is Angela's divine master still in a karmic relationship? <laughs> it says for sure, and it says thumbs up. <laughs> so yes, this person, they're definitely still in some type of karmic relationship with the for sure and thumbs, thumbs up. It's like, yeah, it was like a duh type answer. Like, you know, these cards are low-key rude. I don't know if y'all see it, <laughs> but these low-key some rude cards. <laughs> it says, will we get back together for the long run? Will Angela and her divine masculine get back together? Oh, it says, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Let's do another one. Well, Angela and her divine masculine get back together. It says, ask again later. <laughs> so, yes, Angela, that has been the answers to your questions. Take it how it resonates, girl. I feel like they're pretty accurate answers, though. It's a girl. It's Tisa. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Next, we got Veronica. Has my, di has my divine masculine left the karmic to come home and heal this mess? Let's see. Has Veronica's divine masculine left the karmic partner, please? We got no way. So this person, they have not left this karmic partner. They have not. Let's see. Is this divine masculine coming to help and heal the mess that he has created with Veronica, please? It says yes. So this divine masculine, they have not left this karmic partner yet. And it says no doubt at the bottom of the deck. So this divine masculine, they have not left this karmic partner yet. Let's see why. Let's get some tarot behind that. Okay, they telling me that we don't need tarot. Okay. <laughs> They're just like, no, no, not not yet. Don't worry about it. I feel like that spirit is like, you know what? Y'all have so many questions. Hold on. <laughs> like they're like, sis, why are you why are you doing this? <laughs> like you it, they feel like that you guys are bombarding them. Okay. <laughs> They're telling me that y'all, you guys are bombarding them. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. But they're telling me like, you know what? This divine masculine, they need more time to, um, in the situation, Veronica. They need more time to get out of the situation. I feel like that this person, they are going to come to you. It's just in a matter of time. Everything is about divine timing here. So keep that in mind as well, girl. But yeah, I'm going to end it right there, you guys. I hope that I answered everyone's questions. If I haven't answered your question, make sure you screen screenshot your question and send it to my email and I'll answer it. And I'll send you a video through my email because I try to get everybody. So, yes, you guys, it's your girl was Tisa's. Um, it's your girl was Tisa's. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If you're new to my channel, be sure. Be sure that... Uh, you like, share, comment, subscribe. I have new videos. Check out those videos as well, y'all. You know, I have lots of um, videos that people found interesting, like Divine Masculine's Mother. Check that video out. It's girl with Tisa's. Bye. I love you guys a lot. See you soon. I might see you guys in like a day or two. I'm going to take a break tomorrow <laughs> to get some um, healing done and some, uh, you know, rest. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in like a day or two. Bye. I love you lots.